Hello everyone, yet another example what we do on our master classes. So this one once again is from the master class with Ernesto Nargiev. Well, if you like, give it a go, pause the video, try to solve it yourself, then you'll listen to our explanations to this position and the solution will be given at the end. Uh, uh, oh. uh, very unusual situation. I don't know, did you see it, Evgeny? I know the solution, I, I haven't seen it. I know the solution with black to move. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good good skill as well. It's yeah, I mean, simple. to start to start with, yes. Well, I already know how black wins. Yes. And we cannot do much about this thread. So... Well, this is overwhelming somewhat. How difficult the position? Uh, 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 it's becoming even more clear if you if you split the board on two parts. And yeah, that, that's that's, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's becoming really really scary. Let's say split it on the left on the right side. White kick is absolutely alone. Yeah, mm. against all the black pieces. Yeah, here, uh, please uh, write the full line because this position is already more deep and it requires to, to, to see more lines. But uh, don't, of course, write all the most what you calculate, but uh, please write the, uh, the main line. It would, it would be enough. Mm, yeah. So complex. I'm confused, honestly. I mean, it's 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 a hard position to solve. You can probably guess what the first move is, uh, and even this, I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, for chat, I think we have what three candidate moves in this position, right? Which stop checkmate in one. It's queen g4, rook h1, and queen e7. And I don't think we have to calculate anything else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Have full line. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, yeah, so that's that's a very impressive line. I wasn't even sure if like if Rook takes on e seven, but then yeah, then we. Yeah, like if Rook is seven. Uh, by the way, yeah, what do we do if it's Rook e seven? Queen, rook g8, ah, rook d8. Rook e8, queen e8, yes. This works, I agree. Okay, so if you have a... So it's a, beauty, but... it's a beautiful combination, wow. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this is uh, from my game. I, I play in, uh, uh, against Grandmaster Murtas Gergeleev. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, uh, at this moment of the game, he already was uh, uh, expecting uh, the resignation because uh, it is already very close to bait. So the uh, game was very interesting, but at some moment I lost my track and uh, Black was clearly better. 
But at this moment, I had this chance, and uh, I, I really forget about this game. But somehow, I saw it in in in, in chess base uh, that uh, 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 when it let's say the the best combination of the players, uh, and they suggested me this move, uh, this this game, and I actually agree. Uh, I still think it's one of my best combination in, uh, from. Uh, uh, from a beauty point of view, this uh, very rare situation when you can make uh, such such a sacrifices in the game. Hope you've managed to solve the puzzle using the techniques that we just discussed, and let's look at the solution together. So, White starts by sacrificing the queen on e7, and Black has two options. Rook takes c8 queen, king goes to g7 because if you block with the rook then queen takes e8 sacrificing the second queen this time the promoted queen wins in view of rook d8 check so king goes to g7 and then as much as queen g8 check is attempting continuation it only leads to a draw and the winning move is rook to h1 stopping a checkmate the queen cannot go because there will be a checkmate for black Queen has to take, and then white captures on f5. Black still has a few checks left, but it's not that easy for them to create anything meaningful. White captures the g4 pawn eventually and wins. So that's another line. Rook e7 we've eliminated. Yeah, it's c8 and so on. Let's return to king takes e7. So we captured on e7, and the king takes on e7. Rook d7 check, king f8, pretty much forced, and now we seem to be stuck, because there is no check, rook f7 will be captured, queen h3 is still a threat, but guess what, we still have this magical move, rook to h1. After queen takes h1, and once again the queen cannot move because rook h8, queen takes h1. And just look at the position, black has ginormous material advantage, but after rook f7 check, the play is very forced, king g8, rook to e7, black goes to f8, could go to h8, but it leads to pretty much the same consequences. Rook takes e8, now if the king takes, we promote into a queen, king e7, and we just capture the rook. So, very similar to the previous line. You know, few checks left, but eventually white is winning. So after rook e7, king f8, rook captures, there is king g7, one would say. Check on g8, king h7, and now, once again, I mean, if you promote, we get checkmated, but there is rook h8. King captures, c8 queen, king goes, queen g8, queen h8, take the queen, win the game. Hope you enjoyed this puzzle and see you in the next one.